everybody make some noise for the Asian Bass Girls! Tonight. It's Friday, you know, but to do a big turn up. Uh oh, what did Mel write? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Before I head to the Bay Area, I want to share something I'm really proud of, and that's going to therapy every month. Working in ABG has been one of the greatest rewards of my life, but being a public platform comes with its own baggage. From negative comments that aren't constructive, and for me, naturally being a sensitive person, it's really easy to take someone's opinion as your own truth. One thing that's really helped me shift that perspective was my monthly sessions with BetterHelp. So thank you so much for BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I've been using BetterHelp for two years now and it's super easy to use. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's professional counseling done securely online and the service is available for clients worldwide. You can either communicate with your counselors via message or phone. What works well for me is I do monthly video sessions with my counselor. BetterHelp also makes it really easy for you to switch counselors at any time. I had to switch my counselor after a year and I found someone that was really great and that it's someone that I really jive with. So I believe there is someone out there for you. It's also more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. Visit betterhelp.com slash Asian Boss Girl, that's better H-E-L-P, and join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. And a special offer for our audience here, you get 10% off your first month when you go to betterhelp.com slash Asian Boss Girl. All right, it's time to go to the Bay Area. Safety, please keep your seatbelts fastened and remain seated. Captain has turned off that seatbelt sign. Okay. You may now use approved devices. Right there. Right there. Right there. What's that? I'm sleepy. Shall we? All right, so we're looking for our hotel room. Obviously, Janet and I are bunked up together. Oh, here we are. There you go. All right. This is huge. All right. You know, modest uh, hotel room is nice. It looks like we're, a, it feels like we're on a college campus. All right, so here we are in our hotel room. Janet and I are in a room. And we are so lazy that Helen decided to zoom in even though we're in the same hotel. We're in a different building, y'all. It is a walk. It is <laughs> hot out, okay? But right now we're actually, um, I guess, rehearsing and getting ready for our, our time on the stage, right? Yes, our first time in front of a live audience in over a year. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I know. And knowing us, obviously, we have to write, get everything in writing, so we just Things have- the outline. Yes, we're an outline type of a trio, so we're just working on the outline right now. But it starts with, what up, Bay Area? <laughs> <laughs> what up? Mel uh, was so excited to film tonight with our camera. Yeah. But what did she bring in her bag? I brought the camera case. But I literally with nothing in it. <laughs> like I didn't. I don't even have anything in here. Like I think I was so nervous for this event and running out, and I was like, oh crap. Didn't feel that it was you very know, light. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Jay, do you see this line of people? My wife intro, my name is Helen. I'm Janet. And everyone, my name is Mel. And can I just say I'm so excited to be back in my hometown, East Bay. I did grow up here. So a little turn of events here. We had this whole event, this matchmaking experience prepared for a large audience at the 66 Night Market, and this is our audience right here. <laughs> We're gonna shift, we're gonna shift to Q&A mode. It's gonna be a live speaking event. It's gonna be like a college experience. Yeah. It'll be yeah. fine. Yeah. My armpits right now are like drenched. <laughs> I'm not lifting up my arm. They've gone from just being friends to some of the top podcasters in the community. They have a podcast about what it's like to be a modern day Asian American woman. Um, and uh, I'm just really, really proud of them, and I'm really excited to be joining them on stage to do a really fun Q&A. Everybody, make some noise for the Asian Boss Girls! Yeah. Why don't you guys introduce yourself individually? Yes, thank you so much for having us here today. My name is Janet. I am originally from Southern California, but I did spend a couple, up, a couple of years up here in the San Francisco Bay Area where I worked. 
All right, well, my name is Helen. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. Any East Coasters out here? Hi, everyone. My name is Mel. I am the baby of the trio, which means I won't say my age. Uh, but I'm originally from the Bay Area, so it feels so good to be back Yeah, in, in NorCal. I grew up in East Bay. I went to James Logan High School in Union City. How'd you guys get started? What's the, uh, what's the deal with the podcast? We decided to start this podcast mainly because all of us, we grew up in the 90s. So y'all know that back then, media representation, real low, right? Real low. <laughs> the people that we saw, like we had Kissy and Gucci. I always say we had the yellow Power Ranger. Honestly, every time I saw an Asian person on a billboard, I'd be like, yes, Asian thank person. you, <laughs> representation. So we always felt like we had a niche that needed to be filled because we worked in corporate. We had fun conversations. We were like, why not just pick up the mic and just start recording ourselves? So that's how we started our podcast. For everyone sitting in the audience tonight, thank you so much for, for being here and sharing this moment with us. And please stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Have an thank awesome you. night. Bye. Have a good night. Potato stick. Honestly, I didn't think the potato stick was that good. Uh, I think it would have been better without the cheese sauce. Yeah. It's just straight up like a giant fry. That would have been good. Yeah, it's like you guys know what I'm talking about. The potato stick they always have at the night market. Swirly one. Yeah, it was a little underwhelming. <laughs> so our target, to fit, we're trying to find a board game to play tonight. <laughs> it's Friday night. What should we play, y'all? What should we play? What'd you get, Helen? We've got oh, sugar peas or snap peas are good. Broccoli, medley. We're going to dip in some hummus tonight. It's Friday, you know, but to do it big. Turn up. <laughs> throw it up in the sauce. <laughs> the hummus. Okay, this with the hummus. Yo, I just had that from Starbucks this morning. <laughs> All right, so Jane are... Let's do it. I know, we're, we're, like, match, <laughs> we're matched. We're like a married couple. Yeah. <laughs> But we're back from the 626 Night Market. It was a lot of fun. Um, it was a really fun experience. I, we Have you been to a 626 Night Market before? I, I've only been to one like 10 years ago. Oh, wow. A long okay. time ago in Orange County. So this was the first time in a really long time. Yeah. yeah. It was my first time, so I didn't know what to expect. But enjoy the food. I'm pretty full. But we are back at the hotel. We did go to Target to pick up some games and uh, snacks. We're going to head over to our friend Dan's hotel room and now... You know, just chill out this Friday, Friday Spending night. Spending our Friday night in a hotel room, playing yeah. games and... And matching ABG shirts. <laughs> it's about to be riveting. We got telestrations here. Can you see? Doesn't it feel like we're in a dorm or something? But anyways, we are trying to find the hotel room. But I really feel like we're college students trying to find our friend to play board games with. It's very reminiscent of that. Okay, we're lost. One eternity later. Knock knock! Hello? Hello! Hello, party people! Welcome to the party! Welcome to the party! PJ party! We changed! Oh, y'all matching! Hello, we are here on a Friday night and we are playing Telestrations. We have a little booklet and we're gonna draw words. That's how you play Telestrations. What? That's it. Three, two, one. Oh! That's cute. The first, the that's word was good. heart balloon. Yes. Mel said heart balloon. Yes. So that's one point. Mel. That's one point. And then that's heart right. balloon. That's, that's pretty that's good. Cool. Oh, nice. And then Janet got heart balloon. Who got balloon heart? Let's see. Oh, uh -uh. heart balloon. I didn't have time to do the show. Oh, look at balloon. Does this balloon. count? That was me. It doesn't balloon. count. It uses both, but word. technically, I mean, it's fine. <laughs> Yay! My word is really hard and my pen broke. <laughs> so, right, starting off with excuses. Yeah, is that what <laughs> it's it's okay. My word was frog legs. Oh! oh my God, I knew. <laughs> <laughs> and Phil wrote frog legs. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, and then Janet uh, drew. Oh, what? wow! Oh. What the heck? Matt put frog what? legs. <laughs> Dan, Dan drew. What the <laughs> hell? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Is that the eyeball? <laughs> Wait, can we, yeah, can explain yeah, yourself. That's, that's, that's his tongue. He's like, those are, those are flies. Oh my. So favorite singer. Guys, now that you know his favorite singer, you, you have to know who this is. Oh, oh Justin Timberlake. Oh, yeah. Oh. I did, the, I did the ramen hair yeah, to make sure. Oh. Jimmy's like, uh. Concert. Concert. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, okay, okay, that's, that's good. That's actually yeah. really good, yeah. Orchestra. Orchestra. Oh. Orchestra. Oh. Yeah. Is this Helen? <laughs> Dude, I fucking was like, that is how you draw a tuba. <laughs> That's a smoking pipe. So it's high heels. It's a good high heel, yeah. High heel shoe. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You, get a, you get a point for that. Point. What? Dan! <laughs> Two shoes. High heels. That looks like a boot. Dan. Okay, but he's pointing at the heel. Yeah, that's very good. Wait, Wait good. is that on purpose? Let's have a booty. Hell, I read that wrong. SpongeBob. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I that's said, why. I said slender I, booty because he was pointing at the, the slender part of the ankle. Wow. So I was like, ankle, ankle booty or slender booty? Uh oh, what did Mel write? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. All right, we're back from game night. Look at our hair. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. I know. It felt like a little camp. It was, yeah. We had we played for like four hours. Yeah, but ended up de-talking for a little bit too. There's a lot of good conversation, very deep conversation, and then lots of really ridiculous game drawing and guessing. Television's fun. Now Jay and I are gonna nappy nap. I'm gonna go sleep good now. Night. Night night. Good night. We're gonna be sleeping in these beds now. Bye. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye.